right, hey, this is Carrie, and I'm here for another haul video. And uh, this stuff was ordered during uh, Cyber Week from uh, Tonic Studios, and it was my second and third order from them. Uh, one of them included a $12.50 grab bag, and the other one was a $50 grab bag. And I will tell you, I did take a peek at some of this. And I'm really excited about a few items, and I'm really not excited about a few items. And that's just me personally. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the product. Mainly it means I either already have it or didn't need it to begin with. But uh, overall, uh, I'm pretty happy. Uh, just so you know, I spent a total of $128, including shipping and tax. And so we're going to start out with the things I actually purchased. Uh, and here we go. Uh, first order that I had uh, was for some specialty paper was the only item I got besides the grab bag and it's here and inside the bag let's see what I got I always think I have too much paper and then I think you can never have too much paper oh well okay so it starts out it's got some jungle fever luxury emboss card then we've got some classic card in raspberry pink. And I like this teal blue. It's going to go well with the items that I, some other items that I purchased. Although I did not buy the hibiscus set, I think this is the colors that we're supposed to go for it. Then I have the palm tree, which is also in that color range. Ooh, now this and the uh, palm tree, those are pearlescent. Very good. I don't have that much of that, so I'm happy about pearlescent. And then we've got two mirror cards. One is a harvest gold, kind of a gold or gold instead of a yellow gold, and then electric purple. And that, once again, is in that same color range that came with the hibiscus uh, uh, collection. So very nice on that. Then I bought, they had a, a quick small pack of their Smooth Card. Uh, it's in an ivory, so it's not white white. It's soft white in an ivory. Five sheets of it here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's more for stamping or for being able to use my markers on. Uh, I will have to check and see what it says on the site. But nice big Smooth Card there. And then... Um, the next order, uh, I got the classic card set here. I don't remember exactly how much it was, uh, but it did come with quite a bit of paper. Um, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, and that looks like, oh, it was $8. So let's see what you get for $8 on one of their specials. And their specials come on the weekend or on Tuesdays into Wednesday. It's a midweek special. So here we go. I have some French blue. Pretty color. Then we have chili red. Always good to have some red. And it looks like it has a texture to it. So they call it a weave texture, apparently. Uh, it's a buttermilk yellow, so kind of a pale yellow. Nice. Burn green. And there are 10 sheets in the A4 saw. No, these are 8.5 by 11. Huh. The other one was A4. Either way, uh, 10 sheets of each. This is also in the weave texture in the teal blue. So that's going to go well with my other one. Some uh, Clementine orange. Aberdeen purple, pretty. Ocean blue, I love that color. It does not tell me here exactly what the weight on their classic cardstock is, so I'll have to see about that if I can find anything. And then this is a blossom pink. So that's the end of all the cardstock I got and papers. 
except one small item. I wanted to try their watercolor card here. Uh, they had two different levels. I can't honestly remember. I think I got the cheaper one, but there's a deluxe or a probably thicker size one. And then this one, but it's A6 size, 15 sheets on this. All right, let's get on to the media part, to the uh, grab bags and the, oh, I'm sorry, I have a couple more things that I purchased that are in the media range. One is the ink set, and there were three packs in here. We've got the uh, purple greens here. And these were meant to also uh, maybe work back to that same um, color scheme with the hibiscus. Now I'm going to have to get the hibiscus set. Oh. <laughs> um, then we have the hybrid ink pads in the orange and a different purple and red. And then finally, I like this. This is citrus colors. It is a, a rose, a yellow, and a lime. So I really like those. This was only about a buck for the bottle. It is a red, but it really, I mean, they call it red sunstone. To me, it, it's a sparkly pink, kind of a rose pink on that. So very pretty. Uh, I wanted to try the Glimmer Paste, so I did buy one that was on their media cell, um, mixed media cell. And this one is a plum, I believe. Yes, plum. On there that's a big bottle this came from that same set with the uh, hibiscus set color range with a teal and then it's got a purple and a blue these were some stone drops that were in the media cell and so those kind of give you a matte finish uh, gritty uh, kind of look so I thought that was a different take on drops and I only have a couple drops now from Ranger so this would be different for me um, this are the uh, is the sales bag they had of drops to try some different ones and so I went ahead and got it I know it was somewhere in the 10 to 12 dollar range I believe and uh, a glow-in-the-dark pink, almost a hot pink on that, fluorescent pink looking. This is also glow-in-the-dark. It's a, a blue. Then we have a purple, and these are glitter drops. And this is a teal and a glitter drop. And this is their classic uh, crystal drops in kind of a baby blue. They call this uh, Blue Babe. And then the last one, this is Pink Champagne. And it's also Glitter Drops. So that was pretty exciting on that. So I'm looking forward to figuring out how you really use these. Uh, since I haven't used drops that much in the past. So that will be interesting. All right, next up, and what I'm going to do, I think, on this is so that this video isn't too crazy long, I'm going to go ahead and stop it now. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, invite your friends to check it out. As time goes on, I'm going to get better about a little more professional, maybe looking or edited more. Um, one thing I do have planned, and I've already started the setup for it, is I'm going to do a, a adhesive class comparing adhesives, how to use adhesives, and so I've purchased several different ones, and we can learn together on that, so be sure to watch for that here in the next week, um, and so join me again in a few minutes uh, for the grab bags, and as a preview, there are the two grab bags.